You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week we're looking at Cosmic Symphony, the early and later poems of Bhai Veer Singh, translated by Nikki Ganinder Kaur Singh. This soft cover edition was published in 2008 by the Sahat Academy and is based on two original sets of works by Bhai Veer Singh known as Trel Tukke and Mere Sanya Jio. The author, Professor Nikki Ganinder Kaur Singh, is a renowned scholar of Sikh studies based in the United States of America. She has been published widely on all manner of topics pertaining to the Sikh way of life and took a sabbatical from her work to complete this interpretation of the early and later poems of Bhai Veer Singh. Now, as you can see from the book, it actually says translated by Nikki Ganinder Kaur Singh. Uh, but reading even the introduction in this book, you'll find that the professor agrees with me and probably a lot of you that it is very, very difficult to interpret poetry and to label it as a translation when put into a different language, particularly the English language. However, that doesn't mean that this work is without merit or without any usefulness to the layman or the scholar alike. In fact, on the contrary, what it provides is an insight into the author herself, quite particularly, but then provides an insight into Pai Veer Singh's poetry. So I would advise that anybody wishing to pick up this book should familiarize themselves with the poetry of Pai Veer Singh in the first instance. Uh, particularly of the two works that are being interpreted here by the author, um, Trel Topke, which was published in the 1920s, and then Mire Sanyadio, which was published in the early 1950s. Bhai Veer Singh is one of the most famous writers, historians, scholars uh, and poets of uh, Sikh history. Not only Sikh history, but Punjabi history. And in the early part of the 20th century, he was integral to revitalizing the Sikh way of life under British rule and then following that with the creation of the Indian state. Let's take a look inside and see what we get in the book. It's actually quite to the point. There is a brief preface by the author acknowledging uh, her own upbringing and why she chose to interpret this particular work, followed by a quite detailed introduction that is very useful to see that Professor Nikki Ganinder Kaur Singh was not unaware of the sensitivity involved in trying to interpret work of this magnitude. I would advise anyone um, who is perhaps critical of, of a book like this, who, who chooses not to pick it up, to at least read the introduction and see that the author was trying to deal with this as sensitively as possible, and to better understand her intentions for wanting to interpret this work in English. Then, of course, we have the poetic works. So, as stated earlier and in the cover and title, this is essentially two bodies of poetic work by Pai Veer Singh that are being interpreted into English. The first is Trail Topke, which has been interpreted as dewdrops. The second section is Mire Sanya Jio, which has been interpreted here as My Beloved. Each poem from within those two pieces of work is interpreted here into English turn by turn. We've got around 150 pages that make up this book and what we see when we go to each poem is the title at the top with the Punjabi title written in English, what we term Roman, underneath. And then the poem uh, structured and written as the uh, author has interpreted by Veer Singh's work straight into English. I think it would have been very helpful for the reader to be looking at the original Punjabi poetic works alongside the English interpretations, whether that's something that was or wasn't possible due to copyrights or space in the books, I'm not sure. I didn't read this to try and gauge what 
pro, uh, uh, Bai Virsing is saying in his poetic work. I read this to try and better understand Professor Nikki Ganinder Kaur Singh's interpretation of the world and existence through Bai Veer Singh's poetry. It has actually helped me enhance my understanding of how she uh, comes to understand Sikhi the way that she does, and I've actually better understood some of her other published work, uh, factual work, on the Sikh way of life because I now see how she interprets things. Uh, from the original Punjabi into English. The author makes no qualms in this book that she is trying to introduce and share Pai Veer Singh's beautiful poetry to a much wider audience, an English-speaking audience, which isn't always necessarily the best way to interpret art such as poetry. However, uh, as many works like this do, from English into other languages and other languages back into English, what we find is that it's really more of a commentary or sometimes it can even be like a critique of the work itself uh, that, that it's originally based on. And in Cosmic Symphony, I found certainly an insight into Pai Veer Singh's poetry that was not similar to my own interpretation of his poetic works. Uh, this isn't to say that it's necessarily something I now agree with or that I think was actually even that positive, but opening ourselves up to our interpretations that other people might have of the same work that we're all reading uh, is vital for us to expand our horizons and to open up our minds. For that reason, this is a wonderful book for anybody who is interested in Pai Veer Singh and particularly his poetry to pick up and take a look at. But we want to know what you think, so please leave us a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to Nordiwani for more cover to cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.